What's up guys? Welcome to Dial Home Tech. And in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Mercury edition of the Razer Huntsman. As you probably know, the Huntsman has been around for a little while now, but it just recently got the Mercury as well as the Quartz edition added to its lineup. So if you're someone who's looking to add a little bit of touch to your setup by adding a different color keyboard, then definitely check out this video. I'm going to be showing some of the features that the Huntsman packs as well as showing you the color of the Mercury lineup. All right, so first things first, when you're pulling this keyboard out of the box, you get hit with some pretty awesome eye candy right off the bat. With some nice ice white keycaps and the aluminum top plate, you get a nice and sturdy keyboard with a smooth touch that goes right on top of it. You get a nice finish that goes all the way around and it looks just awesome. The aluminum top plate adds some nice weight to it, which will help preventing the keyboard from sliding over, um, whether you're using it on your desk or over a large mouse pad. It also has six rubber stoppers right underneath, which in conjunction with the weight, it prevents the keyboard from moving around during gaming sessions or if you're just kind of using it normally. So the keyboard packs dual leg razors for more custom ergonomical positions and it has a white braided cable right on the back with a nice kind of bright finish to it. Now the main selling point on this keyboard, other than the Mercury White Color Edition, it's actually the Opto Mechanical Purple Switch, which is the equivalent to a Razer's Green Switch per se. Now it still remains the Razer Clicky Optical Switch, but the difference is, is that it's 30% shorter in its actuation than a regular mechanical keyboard. So Razer claims to be the only clicky switch to actuate at about 1.5 millimeters of actuation distance, which again is about 30% shorter than other clicky mechanical switches. And it only takes about 45 grams of actuation force to trigger the switch. By having lower actuation time, it means that you get more key presses on the keyboard, so less of a wear and tear. So Razer's claim about 100 million key strokes on each one of these keys. It also provides 10 simultaneous key presses with anti-ghosting. So you can press about 10 keys at the same time without feeling any ghosting or lagging or anything like that. The keyboard also provides on the fly macro setting with a macro key and also a gaming mode which prevents you from doing accidental presses throughout your gaming sessions. As the original Huntsman, it also packs the 16 million chroma colors and the ability to set up what kind of coloring scheme you want on the Synapse application. But right before we get into the chroma stuff, I do want to show you guys on a sound test on what these keys sound like so you have a better idea of how clicky they are as opposed to what you may be using right now or what you may be interested in getting. The optomechanical switches work in such a way where when the key is pressed, the laser beam is broken, so then it reflects and sends a message to the computer that the key has been pressed, and the same thing happens when the key is released. As customary, on the Synapse application, you can actually change what chroma setting you want for your setup, whether you're using a mouse or a keyboard, so you can actually select the different types of styles of your chroma lighting right there on the application. So I'm going to show you guys some of the options for the Chroma. They are available on the Synapse app. We have the breathing. We have the fire. Reactive. A ripple effect. You get the spectrum cycle, which is cycles through all the 16 million colors. You get the starlight, 
which in my opinion is a little bit lackluster. You have the wave, which is directional, so you have the ability to select whether you want it from right to left or from left to right. And you have the wheel, which is also directional. You can select counterclockwise or clockwise. There are also a couple of additional options, um, such as a static one or an audio or motion driven one. And you can set up additional settings on your custom chroma settings, which lets you do pretty much anything you want with the colors, with the keys. So if you want to light certain keys a certain color, you can actually do that. So while I believe that the Huntsman keyboard for $149.99 is a pretty good deal, I do believe that there are a couple of things in there that could have been done to make it even better keyboard. So this one does not have an USB throughput. So if you're used to the likes of a Black Widow keyboard, which it did have an USB throughput, um, you're out of luck there. You are going to have to get a hub or figure something out for an additional USB port right there in your hands. The other thing about this keyboard is that the cable sticks right out of the back, so there is no cable run under the keyboard, which is available on some of the other options, especially on the Huntsman Elite. So to wrap things up, I do believe that the Razer Huntsman Mercury Edition packs a nice punch when it comes to balancing the features, the price, the technology, and all the RGB goodness that you can have on a nice keyboard. Well guys, this about wraps it up, so if you did find this review useful, please smash that like button. And also, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this, home automation, and latest technology for your house. Also, you can find me on social media at @dialhometech on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, where I post daily snippets of latest technology and home automation. So that will do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Dial. See ya.